Goddard has now around 375 franchises uh, scattered throughout the United States. Uh, they generally look for a profile of somebody who has more of a business background than an education background. Uh, you hire people to do the education part of the business. The business mind brings the marketing skill set, the PR skill set, the people skill set. And that's what Goddard looks for, and that's what's made them successful, I think. Well, first off, I have, I had a very good friend that owned a Goddard franchise who I had worked with back in my corporate life. So I kind of knew a lot about Goddard. Uh, certainly the business model interested me from the standpoint uh, that uh, it was a challenging opportunity. Uh, it was one that uh, you could make a difference in people's lives, a la kids, uh, which was actually a pretty exciting thing. I certainly thought about it, but the idea of going with a proven model and knowing the support system that's available was really key to us. We didn't have an interest at this stage of our life of starting something from the ground up. Uh, we didn't want to take that risk, but certainly we're not risk adverse, uh, but we're more comfortable going with some, a proven business model. I think, I think with anything new, there's challenges. Uh, certainly, you can do all your homework, you do the demographics. The demographics around our school were fantastic. However, we only opened with five children. And what we really found out, that we didn't realize going in, is that it is really referrals that drive your business in this type of business. And we worked very hard sticking to the Goddard model, doing what is right for the business, and slowly building our business by referrals. Right. And it just took a lot of work and it really involves an owner being on site. We became a full school after about 24 months. Uh, we, uh, we began to, to realize that we had a viable business here after about 18 months. You know, we were gaining momentum. Uh, I left my corporate job uh, about uh, about 24 months after we were open, so so we had a, we had that that green light about the 18 month aspect. We became full uh, really about two and a half, almost three years in. Well, you're you're still spending money on advertising. I mean, one of the things when you buy into a franchise you buy into the fact that they certainly want to expand and they certainly want to build your brand or build their brand. So, you know, certainly a portion of our gross revenue goes to advertising just as it goes to Goddard Corporate. So it's important to get our brand name out there. It's important to, uh, you know, attach our brand to something. And Goddard does a very good job of that. Uh, we still have the ability and we still do a lot of local marketing. We attend parades, we go to elementary school open houses, we go to the football games for some of our students. We're very visible in the community, which you have to be. Yeah, I mean, there are certainly multiple owners out there. Uh, again, this, this business requires an owner to be on site. Uh, my wife and I chose to do it together so that neither one of us had to work 12 hours a day. We can work six hours each. Uh, if we were to do another school, it would involve one of us being at that school full-time and one of us being at this school full-time. A, a, a lot of franchisees might get another school for their daughter or someone else in their family. That's, okay. that's commonplace. Yeah, I mean, certainly this is a regulated industry as it should be. Um, we have state regulations and we also have Goddard regulations, which in, in a lot of ways the Goddard regulations are much more stringent than the state regulations. Uh, we have ratios to maintain. Uh, we actually maintain ratios by Goddard standards, which are better than our state standards. For infants in our infant room, the state standard is one teacher for every five infants. Our ratio under Goddard is one teacher for every four infants. So, you know, it is regulated, uh, but that's good. It should be. We get, vis we get unannounced visits, visits from the health department, we get unannounced visits from our licensing representative for the state, and we get unannounced visits from Goddard Corporate.
I think sometimes there's a misnomer out there that whether it's a Goddard franchise or any other franchise that you can just pay your money and be an off-site owner, it's not true. You, you No matter what type of franchise business it is, you have to be involved. Uh, you have to be the eyes and ears of the business. You have to be in front of the customer because at the end of the day, it's your business. And if you don't want it to be your business, you probably shouldn't be investing in a franchise. Well, I think we differentiate in a lot of ways. One is, and is first and foremost is that an owner is on site. Uh, I think secondly, the fact that all of our curriculum enrichment programs are included in the base price is a huge difference. And I think the fact that we position ourselves as a school first and a child care facility second is a huge point of differentiation. I mean, there, there are certainly curves in the road with, with anything. I think probably the biggest thing is when we bought into this franchise, Goddard schools were filling up at a much faster rate than we did. So you go in with the mindset of allocating cash and, and, and doing your business plan around the fact I'm going to be full in 12 months when in fact it doesn't always happen. Yeah, I don't, I don't, miss, I don't miss corporate at all. I miss, I miss the people. Personally, uh, I, but I don't miss it. This is, this is a new challenge, and every day I leave here thinking that it made a difference in some child's life. And, and I was very fortunate to have a very long career at one company. I spent 30 years with just one, one organization and you know, moved a lot, moved my family a lot, and uh, you know, wasn't getting to the point where you were, you'd get burned out, just getting to the point where Sometimes you struggle to get up in it because it's the same old, same old. And so down here, it's, it's very different. Thank you to Small Busio. We appreciate you coming in and visiting with us.